Hey, hello everyone and welcome to, um, well, you probably don't know what this is. I, well, this is a new series. Welcome to the Bendo Show. Welcome, guys. Um, well, you guys probably don't know what's going on, but a, a few of you might. So the Bendo Show is taking place on an exciting journey and we are actually on the same seed that, well, my first ever series was on the Carlcraft server. We are, in fact, on the same seed that the Carlcraft server was on. And for those who were here way back when I first started and who even played on the same server as I did, well, you guys will remember that this would be Mount No Name yet. But if you're one of those people that, one of those very few people that actually remember this place, I don't blame you because that was, that was very early days. And well, the Carlcraft server was ran by a guy called Carlcraft. And if you don't know who he is, he has been a massive help to me starting off on my channel like uh, he designed my logo he constantly gave me feedback and he was just a really great guy so Kyle if you're watching this thank you so much and uh, I hope you enjoy and reminisce this and you're always welcome on here and well we're on a server where all the mods have come back all the admins well not all of them but a lot of them are actually playing together on this server and even possibly some of the players that I've met over the past but well, we're here on the Bendomian server for the Bendo show, and I'm really excited. Like, we are going back, and we're visiting the old route. So, like, two years ago, the server ended, and a lot of the staff, you know, had our projects and everything. We'd love to see each other, but when you're staff, it's a bit hard to do that. So, uh, you know, after two years, we're like, on, hey, let's... Uh, Let's all play together again. So it was like, on, oh, do we have a server we want to play on now? And it's like, on, oh, you know what? I'm going to launch a server. So I launched a server. We played by ourselves for a bit. Like, we all played. And then I was like, oh, you know what? We've got the seed. How about we go back onto it? So we've come back onto it. And we're, we're back on. And we're playing. And, well, this is Mount No Name yet. This is where I lived. And when the f server first started, the server spawn was actually over there, over the hills. Not too far, but it was over there. And I didn't like a big group. It was my first time being on a server properly. So I... I made the trek all the way over to this mountain and I lived up here and I I had like a little hole in this exact spot actually and I just lived here and you know as the server would start you know people would come and go but I was the first person on this mountain and I was on here for quite some time and other people would pop around and live here but it was very isolated and it was known as Mount No Name yet because it didn't have a name for so, eight, for so long but when people was like on oh Bendo the mod and he lives up there you know what do you want to call it? I was like oh well it's it's Mount No Name yet but we're here on my server on Mount No Name yet 2.0 and well I'm gonna be making content on it I'm gonna we're gonna visit back and you know rebuild some of our old builds but make it better like I this is my first time playing Minecraft on Kyle's server so I was a bit of a, a bad builder so this place was just a really ugly place it wasn't too bad but it was ugly could have done some work but well I'm excited for this and I think the best option would be is to get started and we'll go on a mining session so we're going to go into my little hole and we're going to start our mining session and we'll, I hope you guys are really excited because I'm excited for the Bendo show <laughs> let's get into it so while you're going to watch this time lapse of me mining I thought it would be wise if I would do a voiceover for the time lapse and just give you guys a little bit of a chat. So uh, what I want to start off with is that <laughs> you all know I'm very terrible with uploads and everything. Um, but what I basically want to say is that um, after that upload, I'm not sure if it was at that time, but the last one of Mystic SMP. But around that time, if it wasn't already then, I actually got a new job. So if you didn't know, I used to work in hospitality. And if you somehow don't know what hospitality is, it's basically, you know, serving, cooking, all that stuff. Well, I was a server, um, so I'd take orders from people, I'd, you know, tell the chef and everything. And we worked in, an, like, an Australian dining and um, Chinese dining, so we had people who spoke Chinese and everything, so we had to communicate with them. And for some people, there was a language barrier, and some people, they weren't. But thankfully, I had a really good team, like, the chef was great, and my fellow co-worker was great, and we could translate and everything so it was fantastic but um it was very tiring um but yeah i used to take orders you know deal with customers and everything and if you worked in the hospitality you know it can be very tiring when you dine out it doesn't look tiring however when you just sit down at a table and you you look at your waiter or you know you go to the till and you 
tell your order and everything, and you look at them and go, like, how can they be tired? It's such an easy job. But when you're standing for hours on end and dealing with unhappy customers, and then you're getting some happy customers and everything, it, it really makes a lot better. But it is a very tiring job where you're there for a couple of hours and you're constantly sending out food and trying to make sure everyone's happy and no one's going to be upset and complaining. Um, well, you know, like there were times where I got really tired and everything and I just couldn't make content, um, as well as passion running low. So, yeah, but basically I then got a new job. Um, I love the job and I still work there every now and then, but, you know, I need something more permanent because I've left school and everything. And uh, I got a job in an office. I'm a junior administration officer and it's fantastic and it's all about the businesses in my town. Uh, but we also do a bit of Centrelink work as well, so we're a Centrelink agency. If you don't know what Centrelink is, it's basically your equivalent for like, you know, when you, if you're in Britain or if you're in America or anything, it would like, you know, your stuff that gives out child support and disability support, age pension, like that support. Um, that's what Centrelink is in Australia. And we deal with that as well. So you're already, you know, doing dog shows and hospitality. I knew how to deal with unhappy people if they were unhappy people, but so far it's been fantastic. But again, it's been very tiring where, you know, I work four days a week, it's like it's permanent part time. So it's a, yeah, permanent part time. So I have my set hours and everything. Um, but when you sit in an office all day and you sit in an office chair, which is really uncomfortable when you're looking at a screen all day, and then like, you know, every now and then you deal with customers if they come in, sometimes you have really busy days, sometimes you have quiet days, but it gets a bit boring to come home and sit down on your computer again and stare at a screen. Um, and when you're as busy as I am, like I've just been re-auditing all the businesses in town and I live in a small country town of about six to 7,000, but we're a very local business town, so there are a lot of local businesses. Um, and then like, you know, corporations and all that stuff. So I have to deal with that, and I've been reordering that. So it's been very tiring. And essentially, I've just, you know, haven't been playing video games that much, despite my Discord might say like, you know, I'm online, I'm playing a game, but I might get home, I launch a computer and launch a game that I might want to play, and I just go, okay. I'm gonna go get something to eat. And then I might go, well, I don't really wanna sit at a computer. I might go play with the dogs or go play a board game or cook or something like that. Like, you know, something to take my mind off things. So I've been doing that. Um, but yeah, so I've been a bit boring and Mystic SMP has been a bit lackluster lately. I've been trying to do some work, but we're all getting tired. We're all getting ready to finish off our bases. We're all reaching that point, but hopefully soon there will be something um, that will come along and make me all excited, which is why I want to do this, the Bendo Show, um, which is going back um, to, you know, my old roots. Like, you know, this is the first time I made a series was on Kyle's server, and I had a lot of great memories there, and I was a mod on the server, which meant that I didn't have a lot of time to myself. I was um, very busy with modding duties, and when I could, I'd work on my base, but we had three spawns, and like, you know, I'd always help people, and we had massive builds and everything, but I had stuff like a Bendo Knight factory that I never got finished, um, the base that I'm doing um, right now, um, that you guys will see in this episode, um, in the coming episodes, like, you know, I had all that, and, you know, my buildings around town, running businesses and everything, and then having life and everything, so I didn't get to finish all the um, bases and a lot of the staff felt the same so we've kind of relaunched the server in a way and we're back on it um, and we're you know getting excited we're gonna come back to old builds you know we've seen old places like Mount No Name yet I'm really excited for it and I hope you guys enjoy the Bendo show and well, uh, well I think the time lapse is over so <laughs> see you soon all right so that is the mining session come in doggy <laughs> come on doggy good doggy there's a good dog Oh, that was a great mining session. Um, I died before I met you, but uh, I'm glad to have you here now. But welcome to the crib. Um, we've got meat. Would you like some meat? I'll give you some meat. Here you go. Mmm, yummy meat. Look at that. Mmm. Now we're gonna name you something, but I can't think what to name you. But yeah, we that was a pretty good session. We got some diamonds and. What you doing up there, buddy? <laughs> oh, hi, friends. How are we? Well. You saw that in that time lapse that uh, I did indeed actually go mining and um, I found a dog. I don't know where he went now. Oh, he's behind this wall. <laughs> but yeah, so I went mining. I um, I found some diamonds. That was pretty great. But then I, I died. But the good thing is I found a cave spawner. I actually found a... a hey, buddy. Where, where are you going? I found a um, spawner for zombies and I was like, oh, okay. So, But I thought so because I could hear the, the zombie groans and I started looking around. There was a lot of them. So I thought maybe there's a spawner here. But 
Yeah, well, that's all dealt with now. I should have some stone around here somewhere. Yep, over here around the corner. Now what I want to do is instead of wasting so much potential stone, I want to make one of these bad boys. And I'll just grab that for you now. A stone cutter. <laughs> yeah, with this stone cutter, I can actually, and I can take my armor off because I'm nice and safe in here. But with this stone cutter, instead of me wasting all of my stone to stone bricks, I can actually use it to convert straight into like chiseled stone and stone stairs, but not the cobblestone, it has to be stone. So it's like, it's much cheaper. So I'm gonna grab some of these. Uh, let's say I'm just gonna grab 30 of these. Like, look, so easy to make these now. And I can just go plonk, 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 plonky, plonky, plonk. And <laughs> just like that, I've got my groundwork and I can even put some here, put some here. Like, look at that, the base is already coming together already. Now what I wanna do, is I want to actually grab some stairs. So let's grab these stairs and I think I can make a lot of them hold stack because it's totally useful to put it in there. And just look at that, I'm already adding some variety to the walls. Now, I've used this style before. I've seen many other people use it, but I just really like it. And I actually use this same style, but with oak logs in my last base. But if you weren't already aware, I'm not that much of a fan of the... Um, oak logs over spruce logs. I am a complete spruce fan. I just love my spruce. It's so beautiful. I just can't get enough of it. But now I'm going to tear out this floor and Mr. Doggy, I'm going to have to ask you to get out of the way. Okay, Mr. Doggy wants to walk around while I do this. But I want to start making this space look that little bit prettier. So while I'm doing that and you guys are watching me, I'm going to start digging this up. So let's get right into it. Come on, Doggy. Out the way, please. I'm trying to work here. Thank you. Ah, uh, can you jump up? Yeah? Good doggy. I just... Oh. You can't see it, but he's just walked into a hole. Like, inside one of these, where the levers are. And he's just sat in there. <laughs> Magnificent creatures, aren't they? Well, i got to get into this. So let's do it. It's always good to see a nice brick wall. <laughs> there you have it. Um, that was quick to transform this place. Now, it does look a little bit meh, but that's the point, isn't it? Like, this is meant to be, I don't know if I've told you the theme yet, but it's like a, it's a mine. At Mount No Name yet, the theme of the place was like a mine that people were extracting like ores and stuff and exporting it to spawn, like, like rare stones and everything and anything found below. And... I had a mine up here, and I had this whole operation, like I always like to have my bases with a theme, and well, that's what I was going for, and I've done it again here, so it's like, you know, it looks run down, it's got like the roof is a bit crackly, uh, let me just bring you down so you can see it, there you go, the roof is just a bit crackly, the ground is, well, we got the strip logs now, and then I've got these wooden posts that are holding up the ceiling, just like a mine, and over time, we're going to be transforming this to look more like a mine, but right now it's like at the very early days. And well, this is our base of operations. I've got my bed, I've got my chairs, I've got my sawmill, stone cutter, that's what they're called. And my furnace array is just over here, and Mr. Doggy's just sitting in the corner over there. But I, I think we've done well, guys. What, what do you think? We've um, we've died. We found a we found a monster spawner for for zombies. 
we've come to Mount No Name yet. We've uh, established the mine a bit. I, I, I mean, I think we've done well. What do you guys reckon? Well, I think that's the end of uh, today's episode, unfortunately. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. This is the Bendo Show. And I look forward to this a lot. <laughs> we have a few of the um, fellow mods and players from the Kylecraft server that are still online. And maybe eventually we'll even see Kylecraft pop up. But you, you can be sure to spot them around in the server every now and then. But if anything, well, this is our adventure, guys. And I hope you enjoy. I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye. Welcome to the Dark Side.